Hey guys, Dave Keller here with Market Misbehavior. Uh, years ago, my wife and I were really into a TV show called The Biggest Loser. And it was the general premise, if you've never heard of it, was essentially uh, a couple of personal trainers and fitness experts were featured on the show every week. And then there would be a group of people struggling with weight loss and body image and all these things. And over the course of the season, you would see them go through this dramatic multi-month transformation 30 minutes at a time as they, uh, you know, developed better habits and unwound destructive habits. And, and uh, overall, it was, you know, pretty enjoyable to see people improve their lives and come from, in a lot of ways, a lot of very dark, dark places, not just physically, but emotionally, spiritually, etc. Um Jillian Michaels was one of the two trainers that were regularly featured on the show. And I came across a quote of hers uh, recently, and it is this, allow yourself a few parties, but be mindful the rest of the time. So obviously with my work with mindfulness and mindful investing, that's what caught my eye, but I've struggled a little bit thinking about this uh, quote and reflecting on it uh, because I feel like um, given where we're at as a society, struggling with the coronavirus pandemic and being stuck in our house with our families uh, and, and just limited in terms of what we can do outside of that, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a struggle of sorts because we actually can't allow ourselves a few parties right now because there's a risk assigned to that that we're not normally uh, used to dealing with. So you're making a, a life and death decision in some ways, deciding to go uh, do things socially at, at this point. Um, and also, I would say not just not just that, but I think for me personally, over the years, I think years ago, if you if you give me that quote, it would mean something very different. It would mean indulging with food or with drinks or who I was hanging out with or where I was going. Probably I was in a very different place at that point. But now, given where I'm at and how I've been dealing with uh, everything going on around us this year, um, I, I think it means something very different. So when she talks about allowing yourself a few parties, but be mindful the rest of the time. My general approach with talking about mindful investing and approaching having an awareness of the now and your surroundings, there's not a lot of allowance in there to be uh, to be imperfect, to to not be mindful sometimes. What about those times when you're just not into it? You just don't want to meditate. What then? So I think when you're approaching anything, um, there's a there's a um, there's a sense that you need to be perfect about it. I'm, I'm also going through a, a process right now trying to upgrade how I'm eating. So I'm eating a lot of salads, I'm eating a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. It's a, it's a bit of a change from how I was dealing with the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic and indulging in things like gelato and uh, sweets, trying to just clean things up and uh, get in a better fitness routine. And, and hopefully we'll come out of this feeling better and, and doing better overall. But um, you know, one of the things I've learned is that I am not gonna be 100% good with, uh, with with eating salads all the time. We had pizza last night. It tasted amazing. We were not scheduled to have pizza in our carefully curated weekly calendar of uh, meals, but it just, it hit me. And I told my wife, like, I, I think it's pizza night. Can we please do this? And she very lovingly said, no problem. Let's do it. And so I'm finding that uh, even with occasional, uh, you know, missteps, like a, a random Tuesday pizza night, Overall, I'm still feeling healthier and doing better because the average experience, my, my main uh, sort of standard fallback uh, meal is something relatively healthy using whole foods and, and, and all of that. So I think for me, what that quote means now is allow yourself a few parties in terms of mentally. Allow yourself that even if your goal is to lose weight dramatically, give yourself the freedom to eat pizza sometimes just because that's okay. Because what that will do is allow you to stay true the rest of the time. It's sort of counter counterintuitive because you feel like if you take a misstep, then that's just a rabbit hole. That's a downward spiral of negativity. I don't think so. I, I think it, it actually refreshes you and reminds you. And, and what's funny is over time, you need those cheat days a little, uh, a little less and less. But the whole other thing is to be mindful the rest of the time. And that's really the, the, the subject of this video. Um, thinking about how your average day includes mindfulness. Thinking about how you're having a healthy conversation with yourself, not just as an investor, but as a human being. How are you, you know, tracking your progress as you try to improve routines, improve your decision making, improve what you put inside your head and put inside your, uh, your body. So it's, it's been actually interesting reflecting on this quote the last couple of days. Uh, and again, I, I think allowing yourself a few parties mentally, especially given the situation we're all in, can be very, very helpful. But also set yourself up, surround yourself with things that will help you be mindful the rest of the time. And over the long stretch, over the long term, the long term trend, even with some ups and downs of, uh, of short term decision making, as long as you surround yourself 
with the tools and the resources, the support system to get you to a, to a better place, you're gonna end up just fine. Mm -hmm.